Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Mavic Mini and how we can make it better. Let's just start off by saying that the Mavic Mini is really a great little drone for what it's made to do. But unfortunately it's not great in wind and it's also not great with range because of the Wi-Fi transmission system. For those of you guys that haven't watched my video on how to improve the range with the CE Boost mode or putting it into FCC mode if you've got a US version Mavic Mini, take a look at the top right corner. I'm going to link a video there as well as in the video description below. Now if you found any of the content useful, please consider to subscribe, it really helps out the channel. So without further ado, let's get to this video. And in this video we're going to improve the tilt angle of the Mavic Mini and it's going to make it a lot better in the wind. So the Mavic Mini only has a tilt angle of 20 degrees in normal mode and 30 degrees in sport mode. But the Mavic Mini 2 has got a tilt angle of 30 and 40 degrees in sport mode. This makes it a lot better in wind really because it's got a more aggressive tilt angle. It's not about top speed as per se, but it's also the aggressiveness of the angle that it can go forward. So the Mini 1 has got a big disadvantage by being 10 degrees less. And in this video, we're going to increase that to the same or more than the Mavic Mini 2. Now as a baseline, take a look at the bottom left and you'll see the speed of the Mini before it got modded. This is the speed that the Mavic Mini is allowed to go to by factory settings before we're going to change any of the parameters. Now to be able to do the mod, you will need to have a PC or a Mac and you'll have to link your drone to the PC and download the software. The following steps is going to show you step by step what needs to be done. So here we're just going to go into Google and we're just going to type in Drone Hacks. And Drone Hacks is by Think Awesome. Just click on the download link and it should open the Drone Hacks webpage. Now I've gone to the main page and I can decide which options I want to select, but you can go straight to the download button and just go through there. I always recommend going through the Drone Hacks page because there might be some additional options available for you if you've maybe got a different drone as well. But for the Mini itself, if you go to the top and click on the bird map, you can go to click on the Mavic Mini and you can scroll down and you can view which mods are available for which firmwares. In our case, we want to modify the parameters and as you can see, it's an actual free option, so we don't need to pay for it. Now, if you want to pay for it to do the uh, CE Boost mode, I really recommend it. It's very easy to do and you can support the system. Now, if you click on the download button, you can scroll down and you can click OK to, for DJI or Autel, in our case DJI. And since I'm running a Windows PC, I'll be downloading the Windows version. Once it's downloaded, it's just an .exe file. All you need to do is just click on the file itself and it's going to open up and you're going to have to log in. If you don't have an account, just create an account on the DroneX website by clicking the My Account on the top right side. There's an option for you to sign up. Now once you've opened the application, you can see there's an option to connect the Mavic Mini. There's some certain steps. Just make sure you follow them in order. I'm also going to show you a step-by-step -step way of how I connect my Mavic Mini to the PC. Now the way that you hook this up is you'll get your Mini and you're going to power it on. Now, once you've powered it on, you're gonna have to wait for the gimbal startup process to complete successfully. A lot of guys will tell you to just plug it in once the chime is completed, but in my experience, it works best if you just wait for the calibration to complete. Now, once you've plugged your drone into your PC or your Mac, you will notice that the drone hack software is going to detect it. It typically takes like 20-30 seconds to complete but you'll notice that it's going to say it's picked it up and there's no um, upgrades going in process and then it's going to continue to log into the application itself. Now once it's logged into the application we will be able to see the firmware version that we're currently at, in this case 500, and we want to downgrade to the previous ones to be able to do the mod. But let's just click on the hack parameters on the top right and it's going to take a while to load but once it's loaded you're going to see the current configuration of the system now on this current firmware you're going to see that we cannot go further than 30 degrees 
it's our max. So we, we're not able to make any adjustments here because it's already set to the maximum limit it can go to. So to make this change, we're just going to click on the firmware button and there's going to be a button to open Dank Downloader and this is the place where we can download the firmware that we require. We require 0 0.400 and you'll notice that Drone Hacks has already pre-populated all the information for you on the Dank Downloader page. Just go and click the download button so you can download the file. Uh, you're going to notice that it's going to take you back to the Dank Downloader page directly after that and then it's just going to be a blank page. Please select the Mavic Mini again, so DJI in the first pane, then you're going to select the Mavic Mini and the reason we're going to do this is, is we want to have all the firmware on our machine so select firmware version 500 the latest version and it's for the aircraft itself now the reason we do this once again is so that we have the files on our machine so that we can restore back to previous versions if we need to without the need of an internet connection now once we've downloaded the files we can then go click choose firmware and it's just going to open your typically your download page and you're going to select the firmware wherever you download it to. So once you've got the file, you just click flash firmware and this is going to take 5 to 10 minutes. I'm just going to speed it up 600 times and it's going to run through the whole process for us. Once it completes, it's going to ask you to check your mini because your mini after a firmware upgrade would have shut down. So that requires you to turn your mini back on again. Now while we wait for this to complete, remember you can also upgrade or sometimes downgrade your firmware using DJI Assistant, but DroneX is a much easier to use tool since you don't need to have an internet connection if you've already downloaded the files. So really worthwhile keeping that with your machine. Now once the firmware finishes, like I said, it's going to complete the firmware upgrade. It's going to ask you to turn the mini back on again. So click OK. You'll notice that it's turned off power it up, up again and then you're going to proceed with the process of the drone hacks has detected the drone again. Once again we're going to go through the connection process. Remember you power on the Mavic Mini, you wait for the gimbal process to complete, you can plug it in just after the chime and I always recommend just waiting for the gimbal calibration to complete before you flip it over. Plug in your cable, wait for the drone hack software to detect your mini. Once again, you'll notice that your firmware version is now updated, but you have to check it. You can check the firmware page and just wait for the mini to connect properly and you'll notice that the parameter option becomes available. This takes some time to read the parameters of the drone again and we want to see a more flexible options available. Remember last time we couldn't go past 30 degrees. Look at this, we are now going 45 degrees. So I would go to 45 degrees because I know the Mini is not as powerful as the Mini 2. So I'm just going to try and match it slightly. I'm just going to go up on do 30 degrees or yeah, 30 degrees on normal mode and increase the vertical and descent speeds by a little bit and I'm gonna click save button. Now you can reset the button, well reset the settings and if you click that button it's just gonna restore everything back to the default settings. So it's nice and easy for you if you don't like it or you don't feel safe you can just easily just reset it. Now remember we are on a, a lower firmware version so if you just update the firmware in the app when it prompts you for a firmware update you would also reset to the original values. So let's just quickly set up the previous settings and then we're going to click save. Now we're not going to use any of the other options because that's for the advanced users. So what we just want to do is click on save. Essentially that is now done. All of our settings has now been sent to the drone and we can now disconnect the drone and go take it for a test flight. Please guys, if you like the content, please consider to subscribe and if you've got any questions, please pop it in the comments below. Now once you've disconnected your drone, take it outside and take it for a quick test flight. In this case, I'm taking off at the same spot. Please ignore the SD card malfunction. It's just the old SD card that I plonked in there to see if it's going to work. Now remember to take a look at the bottom left. We want to focus on the speed. So as I'm flying over the park, don't worry about the speed yet. 
Just take a look at the picture on the middle of your screen of the speeds that is the default values. Now we've obviously changed the parameters so our speed sh should have increased or at least be very similar. Just going to switch over to P mode. So in position mode if we're going up or down you can see that my maximum ascend speed should be 7.2 but it was over 10 and likewise my descent speed is also over 10 kilometers per hour. So in this case we know that our mod has taken effect and that our altitude gain and decrease speeds have already been increased. So remember the limits have been changed on the drone itself. So let's just check sport mode. I'm hitting 18 kilometers per hour ascend and 10 um, kilometers per hour descent. So that's already way higher than the original values that was set on the drone. Just to confirm you can check that the firmware version is 0 0.4100. If you upgrade, you're going to lose the mod. So 0 0.4100 is the one that you require. Now I'm just going to fly a bit higher up and get some distance so I can get a good line of sight as I'm going to go and see my uh, sport mode speed test. Just to see if my um, angle has improved my top speed. It shouldn't really change my top speed, but remember the tilt angle is now up to 45 degrees. So the drone's going to be a lot more aggressive while it's flying forward or in the wind. In this case, you can see that I'm clocking around about 47. That's already more than the default. And I'm maxing out at 53 kilometers an hour. And this is just in a short 100 meter range. Now that we know the mod is working, I hope you guys can see how easy it was to perform and how to complete the steps. The Dronex software really makes life so much easier. Once again guys, if you've liked or enjoyed the content that I'm making, please consider to subscribe and leave a comment below if you've got any questions. Thank you for watching.